Good day viewers, welcome to Adibab's ICT concept. My name is Martin Faleke. Today I shall be taking you computer appreciation. And on the computer appreciation today, I shall be teaching you the computer desktop environment. Computer desktop environment is the image field display that comes up immediately your system boots up to window level and what are the characteristics of the computer desktop environment i will take just few today and in our next class we'll continue from there one of the characteristics of the computer desktop environment is an icon another the tax bar and i'll also be talking about the system tray and lastly for today I will be teaching you how to customize your folder. An icon is a pictorial representation of a folder, a file, an application, or even a document on the computer desktop environment. And if you look at the screen with me, you see all these pictorial representations, these pictorial representations, all these pictures, these small pictures, are called icons and as you can see they are representing folders representing applications representing documents representing pictures so this pictorial representation is referred to as an icon so having known the meaning of an icon on the desktop environment i want to introduce you to the taskbar the taskbar is the horizontal base you can see on your desktop computer desktop environment this horizontal view is what we call the computer taskbar you can see from here like this the taskbar or what does the taskbar do the taskbar helps to get easy access to any program that is open or a computer user is working on. I'll give you an instance. Uh, this, is, this is a picture. Can you see? This is a picture. If I should open this picture, you see the shortcut on my tax bar, giving me an easy access. For instance, look at it. I have opened it and here I have it on my tax bar. So if I should minimize it, it's no longer showing on the desktop view, but I can easily access it on my tax bar. Do you get the explanation? So I can easily come to the tax bar, click to have the picture back. Do you understand? So that is what the tax bar does. Also on the tax bar, programs or applications can be pinned to the taskbar for easy access. Take for instance, on my taskbar, I have my Photoshop application, I have my Adobe Illustrator on the taskbar, I have my Audacity uh, application software on the, on the taskbar. This is to enable easy access to all these applications. If I should go to where the, the the file location of these applications are on the system it might take time but for easy access they are pinned to the taskbar next is the system tray the system tray is located at the right side of the taskbar and so at the right side look at my taskbar so at the right side of the taskbar is the system tray and what does the system tray display? The system tray displays your battery level, your battery charge level for laptops, displays uh, the notifications, displays your volume level, displays your time, and displays um, network signal strength, and lots more like that. That is what the system tray does. Uh, I wish to say this before we move to the next thing that the tax bar can be customized that is instead of having it at the base of your of your desktop view it can be anywhere 
it can be at the at the top of the desktop view it can be at the right view and it can be at the left view but by default tax bar is always at the bottom of your desktop view i hope you you get that in our subsequent classes i shall be teaching you how to pin a program or an application to your taskbar. All right. The next thing I want to teach you is how to how to customize a folder. By default, folders carries brown color. Folders, can you see? Folders carries brown color. You can see. But today, I'll be teaching you how to change this brown colors to a customized icon so let's look at how we can customize our folder changing that brown color to uh, another another kind of um, icon i will show you those i have changed this kyocera di can you see it this kyocera di was changed to this also this application named martin used to be like this but was changed to this. So let's quickly look at how we can change our folders to a desired icon look. The first thing to do is to select the icon. You select the icon by either tapping your trackpad or by left clicking on your trackpad. So you put your arrow key on the folder to be changed. Left click. Is it that you left click or you just select? And when you do that, you right click. After right clicking, you come to properties. When you get to properties, you left click. After left clicking, you have this display. You don't have problem with the general. You don't have problem with the sharing. You don't have problem with security. You don't have problem with previous versions. So where we are coming is the customize. So you click on the customize. After clicking on the customize, you come down to where you have change icon, change icon. Then you click on the change icon. It's going to show list of icons that are available. So I'm going to show you, I want it to be visible so that you can see how the effect will be changed. Don't forget what we are changing is we, are, we want to change icon for download folder. Can you see? We want to change icon for download folder. So I'm going to search there's a scroll wheel there's a scroll bar here so with this arrow you can scroll forward and with this arrow here you can scroll backward so i'm going to scroll forward to choose a folder that i like okay so i'm going to choose this key i'm going to choose this key and i'm going to click ok so after clicking ok i'll come and click apply after clicking apply I'll click OK again. Now, come back to the folder. Can you see? The folder download has taken a new look. And that is how to change your folder. So, a recap of all we have done today. Briefly today, we have been able to show you what an icon looks like. The definition of an icon. We've been able to also teach you and show you the tax bar the importance of the tax bar. I've also been able to show you the system tree and the, the uh, features of the system tree. And briefly, I've also been able to, to teach you how to change or customize your icon. Kindly subscribe to our channel for subsequent videos that will be uploaded. Thank you for watching. God bless you.